Okay, so you're experimenting with 14 days left to go. Does that panic you at all a little bit? Um, no, not really. No, 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 she's calm. <laughs> she's not worried. What about your teacher? Are you worried? Um, I think the girls are doing a great job and they're highly motivated and I think that they can get it done. A little worried what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Senator and I have always talked about this. There are amazing, amazing people that make this world go around. And I gotta tell you, in the years that I've been doing this, I am constantly impressed with the, the passion, the capabilities, the dedication, and the overwhelming support from the teachers within our school system. The dedication that you teachers put into these projects, kudos and congratulations and thank you. That's just unbelievably cool. Hopefully this helps inspire other young seamstresses and, and designers to take the program and to continue in the fashion industry. Every year brings different students and different ideas and I think as a teacher you just have to let them explore and enjoy what they want to do. And so I've learned over the years to encourage them but also take a back seat and let them try things out. I think you have to have a passion for doing this type of activity. It's also the aha moments of teaching, when the students get it and can put it all together and can see a good end product. Like they want to take fashion because they want to do Ready to Shine. They don't get that kind of opportunity to, to be in the spotlight like that. I think you really do an excellent job of treating them like superstars. My biggest uh, feeling right now is like, whew, they're getting it done. <laughs> you, you never, it never gets old because every year something new happens and it just gets more exciting. The Ready to Shine project isn't about a winner, right? It's not a contest. It's about celebrating student achievement. And I think once we get to the show, then the students get to see that their, all of their work is awesome. I hope that till they start building confidence and they get really confident about um, presenting in front of other people. You always have a lot of pride in the students that walk across the stage and you see the efforts that go into it. It creates a lot of smiles by parents and or kids as well as our own staff members, so it's a great thing to have. You know, when they come, they're working hard and they're creative and they're excited. It's just, it's having them to have the time to come. So if they can make it once a week, we work hard for once a week. That's the good part of being the teacher, right? To be able to see the kids celebrate their work and uh, to put it on display in such a public way, just to give them that recognition, you did this, you created this. And I think that's, that's probably the most inspiring for me as a teacher. Give them really big, loud, loud, loud clap. <laughs>